but that was a very very close encounter folks um, very close because those two were curious and uh, that was risky really that was the riskiest part of my day today there's no more fields now they're big as well and they were curious so you only need one to be curious you see and uh, even if I'd gone further down that field they were they were sort of migrating that way anyway even those two are going down there now I don't really know um, how I would have overcome it I would have to have climbed over a, another field or something God, that was nerve-wracking. I was so brave. Honestly, I had to walk feet away from them. Um, at least six of... Before I met them two there, at least six I had to pass. I waved my stick and I just said, Yup, get on then. Yup, get on then. In a deep voice and they seemed to respond. God, that was risky. I could have been killed. I mean, they're like wild animals, aren't they, really? Do you know what I mean? That was very risky. That was very scary. Like I said, I don't do this walk very often. That's the first very, very close encounter I've ever had with them in that field. I've never had that that close. I don't think so. They've normally been sat down somewhere. So uh, that was a that was too risky and they come in here by the look of it it just makes you wonder if the farmers don't want people to <laughs> yeah, it is a risk I would have to have got into that field there where there's sheep and got down on the lane that way see there's loads of them see it's a huge herd it's not just them it's probably a hundred black cows that I ha would have had to have encountered but if I know they go down that way I would have made my way round the field right at the top there come back round this way if I, you know oh that was bloody scary very scary to be quite honest I know I had to do a lot of hill work I'd already walked up quite a big section of hill and I had to turn back Because they were going in all the entrances. That was a big, big risk. To tell the truth, I really risked myself then. But I thought, well, I didn't know what I was going to do. I've got to get home. I've got to get the bus. So, you know, I don't know if I can get it, open it this way, can I? Yeah, there we go. Saves climbing the style, doesn't it? That's it. I think there is a style. Oh yeah. So that was very, very dodgy. And there's still loads of cows coming down from the hilltop. So. Obviously, I think if, if you could, have, you had lots of time, you could wait an hour or so, and they'd all gone down in the lower field. They were all bullocks. I was lucky. I think I just took them by surprise, and they didn't really take... They were curious about me, I think, more than anything. Look at that lovely scene there. Oh, I just can't believe I've... I just can't believe I've done what I've just done. I really can't believe I've done that. Right, over and out for a minute. Someone coming. Right then, this is the West Mendip Way. Leaving Shippen behind and the cows. And it's... Uh, not too bad, so this is a good sign if it's uh, dry here. 
I'm not going to rush down there. I've decided I can get the six o'clock and I just have to pray it arrives. Because um, I don't want to rush. It's a lovely evening. There's no reason why I can't get the later bus, you see. No reason at all. It's very grown. Look how grown it is. I don't know if anyone comes and sort of cuts it back at all. I mean, look, you see how muddy that bit is. They've put barriers up to stop people trying to cheat by coming along this way. As I suspect that's what was happening. But they soon get stuck. They'd hit their exhaust off on the as well. Anyway, I've had a nice bit of cheese. The rest of me cheese, the rest of me tomatoes. And I've got a nice sort of oatmeal bar to eat. I've got another orange. I've got a packet of cheese nuts. I've still got sweets. So I'm making most of it. The weather's actually improved as the day's gone on. So this is the West Mendip Way. I've come up it and gone down it. But I'm, to be quite honest, I do not feel like doing that field again. Uh, I mean, I met a gentleman, hiker a minute ago. He was going to go across. He'd been over it earlier in the morning. And the cows were high up the field. So now they come down low. But I, it, it does put me off when I know I've got to do that. I'd have to think of an alternative route. But it's a dangerous road, you see. There's no pavement. Otherwise, I could have come up on this particular road where I am now. Although there is another way through Longwood where you come out. And you do have to do a bit of a road just for a little while. And then you can cross over onto this track. So I'm, I'll probably have to do that um, if I do that walk again and I'm coming, I want to come this way. I'll have to avoid those fields. I can't go through the fear of that again. I mean, I put on a brave face, but I was absolutely petrified. Um, I don't want to take risks like that, really. It's not worth it. I was very lucky that I got away with it, to be quite honest. The cows are more interested in eating and um, but there were two that were curious and it only takes one to be curious but I'd managed to get to the gate they just watched me they were very curious they, they were staring at me as I was trying to climb the gate I couldn't get over the stile it was too high for me I couldn't just step over the stile so I had to and I was taking ages I was trying to get over this wobbly gate and then pass over onto the stile so I could get down and they were just staring and they were quite close.